Uh, Mr. Bill Lowry, who I miss tremendously, is uh, the man who discovered Jerry Reed, and he, the great Jerry Reed, and he discovered uh, Ray Stevens, and uh, Milton Crabapple, and I guess me, and uh, one of our dreams in life is to be mentioned in the same sentence with Jerry Reed and Ray Stevens. So I had a chance to work with Jerry, and I wrote this song, me and him did it together. I married a woman that talked like Jerry Reed. God just didn't bless her with the vocal cords she needs. She looks like Cindy Crawford, but that ain't the way she sounds. When we make love, I keep hearing eastbound and down. I work 60 hours a week, and I bring home my check. And she says, son, you got to take me out somewhere. I'll throw some groceries down my neck. So I took her to a fancy restaurant. She looked down her nose and said, now why don't we stop at a choking puke for some grilled cheese sandwiches? That's just a little tribute to Jerry there. Here's a... Here's a racing song. Me and Butch tried to get a hit. I think this got to what, Butch, 84? She named me Dale, Darrell, Walter, Richard, Petty, Rusty, Awesome Bill, Irvin Gordon, Earnhardt Smith, Johnson, Jr. I guess you could say Mama was a NASCAR fan. I was born in Talladega up in the stands. The fans all cheered the second I arrived. The loudspeaker said the boys born to drive. We didn't have money for a pacifier, so I sucked on the valve off a Goodyear tire. A seven pound, eight ounce son of the South, born with a taste for racing in my mouth. She named it Dale, Darrell, Walter, Richard, Penny, Rusty, Awesome Bill, Irvin Gordon, Earnhardt Smith, Johnson, Jr. And here's one, thank you very much. Here's one we got coming out on uh, Capitol Records, which obviously the Garth Brooks song didn't kill me. <laughs> they signed yeah, me up yeah, to Capitol yeah. Records, so. Anyway, Capitol Records is worried sick about this next one. It'll be out October 19th on a song, uh, little album called The Twang Thing. Here we go. Church League softball fist fight. Getting washed in the blood on a Tuesday night. What would Jesus do? Lord, he wouldn't do that. Knock hell out of a preacher with the softball bat. Well, the swinging shepherds from the sheep of the Savior were tied with the Sourwood Church of Christ. An example of some highly unholy behavior in a game that had already been protested twice. Something unbiblical must have been said for them to be aiming heat at a minister's head. Clocking the clergy ain't the thing to do, but neither's the high hard one on a O and two. Church league softball fist fight. Rolling around the pitcher's mound, it just don't look right for nice people from the church and the Sunday school class to trade the cup of brotherhood for a can of whoop. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Alger, Tony Arada, and Tim Wilson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we want to celebrate the life and the greatness of a dear friend, Mr. Bill Lowry. He was an, an unstoppable force in the music industry, beloved and respected man by everyone who knew him. The same night in 1979 that Ray Charles was inducted into our Music Hall of Fame, Mr. Bill was named as the first non-performer award winner. And from that first event in 1979 until last September, when we celebrated the 25th anniversary of this award show, Mr. Bill donated his time, his financial support, and his heart and his soul into producing this show. We feel his present here tonight, as always. Corner. With the passing of Bill Lowry this year, the state of Georgia and the world lost one of its greatest treasures. Rarely in history have humility, brilliance, and perseverance melted together so perfectly in a single man. His beginnings were, to say the least, humble. If the good Lord's willing and the creek stays down. I had to do a show called Mama Goes a Shopping, which we did. We went to the various grocery stores in the city of Atlanta 
and we do the show every day. As an on-air talent and as a programmer, Lowry thrived on doing what others told him could not be done. Giving Atlanta's radio giant WSB a run for their money. I had the opportunity to break many phonograph records and make hits out of them from my morning show, The Bill Lowry Show. In 1951, the young Bill Lowry seemed to have it all. A thriving career, a loving wife, and a trio.